This is the entrance to the Oak Zone Providence subdivision in Waxhaw, North Carolina. You see it's appropriately named the Oaks because of all the, the oak trees. Beautiful tree-lined streets in here. There's about 130 homes in this community built by Saucy Burbank. That was the builder. Homes right now in the spring of 2022 are most of them are going to be valued I'd say anywhere from the high 300s into the mid to upper 400,000 range there's uh, about eight streets that have different that have uh, cul-de-sacs we're just passing Forest Oaks Lane right now we're on Red Oaks Lane which is the entrance you'll see houses on both sides of the street wide streets um, great for walking around hollow oaks court to the right and then red oaks ends in a cul-de-sac at the bottom of this hill if you take a left this is country oaks lane Passing Waxhaw Oaks Court. Now I'll drive into some of these cul-de-sacs on the way out. I'm just first driving to the back of the neighborhood here. This is Winter Oaks Court to the right. And Spanish Oaks Drive to the left. very back of the neighborhood so we just came in the main entrance and took it all the way here to the back so these homes were built by Saucy Burbank and most of them are late 90s to the early 2000s up to probably about 2005 or so, I would say. And they all have a ton of character. They're really cool. They've got hardboard siding, a lot of front porches. This is a neat little cul-de-sac right here. And they all, pretty much all have a lot of detail inside as well. So you get a lot of crown molding and chair rail and wainscoting and hardwood floors on main levels things like that and a lot of these homes have actually been updated over the years as well so people that have moved in here a lot of people who have moved in here have done a lot of updates to the interiors of this these homes as well I've been in a lot of these homes I think I've sold about a dozen homes in this community over the past few years this is spreading Oaks Court so this is one of the cul-de-sacs here. So that's the cool thing is every little side road just leads to a cul-de-sac. I love this little front yard picket fence. Some pretty azaleas, I believe. That we just passed. So 
It's a very mature neighborhood too in terms of landscaping. You see some really beautiful yards in here. Here's Citation Oaks. This is one of my favorite cul-de-sacs. Maybe my favorite cul-de-sac in the neighborhood, actually. I don't know why. It's just it's kind of kind of long. All the houses are really pretty. Everybody has nice yards. Just always like this one. Like someone's having some some work done, maybe some painting done to their house right now. All those vans there. So this community is located about a mile north of downtown Waxhaw, North Carolina. Waxhaw is one of several small towns throughout the Charlotte region that are considered Main Street towns. So you've got Waxhaw, North Carolina. It's in Union County. It's about 20 minutes from the county seat, which is Monroe, North Carolina. It's about 15 minutes or so to get to Route 45 up in Mecklenburg County, which is Charlotte. In fact, the road that this entrance is on, Route 16, Providence Road, you could drive north on that for about 40 to 45 minutes and you'd be in the center of Uptown Charlotte. It's just basically a straight shot all the way there. So Waxhaw is really accessible to other towns and, and to Charlotte and but Waxhaw's got a lot on its own as well in its own right a lot of great restaurants and shopping it used to be known as an antiques town and there's still the Waxhaw Antiques Mart but now we've got a brewery and a tap house and an Irish pub and a tavern and Cork and Ale, and these places have food too, a lot of them, not the pub and not the uh, tap house, but lots of places to go out and eat. A lot of dessert places, we've got Waxhaw Creamery, it's in downtown Waxhaw, Cookie Dough Bliss, Pelican Snowballs, there's a few bakeries in Waxhaw, you got Virtuoso Bakery, Bernie's Bakery. There's another one, I believe it's just called The Baker. For coffee and tea, you've got Crossroads Coffee, Uptown Tea. There's Espesso Coffee Roasters located inside Provisions, which is a really, really good place to go get breakfast or lunch or to shop for local goods. Yeah, Capricci's True Italian Restaurant, Blue Door Deli, the list just goes on and on. And this is all right in downtown Waxhaw. There's two more roads, uh, uh, just kind of hilly cul-de-sac roads. More pretty houses, but you kind of get the gist. I want to show you where we are in relation downtown Waxhaw that I've been talking about.
So we've got some businesses at the front of the neighborhood as well. Moss and Black is a salon and spa. This new building here, we have a Dogwood, Dogwood Dental Spa. That's new. Be curious to know what they do there. Across the street to the left, there's um, going to be a shopping center in there with a grocery store and some other businesses. If I had turned left and just headed straight, like I said, for about 45 minutes, that would take you right into the heart of Charlotte, uptown Charlotte. But we're heading to Waxhaw, North Carolina, passing a, a strip mall on the left, El Rey Mexican restaurant, AR workshop, Sherwin-Williams Paints. There's a business park here on the left. Bistro Antonio is an excellent Italian restaurant. There's a uh, an ice cream place there. A gym. Ace Hardware. So lots of businesses in this quarter. Right, you got Old Hickory Shopping Center. There's a Family Dollar and a Food Lion in there. There's also uh, El Vallarta Mexican Restaurant, Queen South, which to me is the best pizza in all of Waxhaw. And Stax, which is a very popular uh, breakfast place. Has some Waxhaw Parkway, which right now the Waxhaw Farmers Market is going on every Saturday from 9 a.m. until 12 p.m. They've got fresh produce and eggs, coffee and tea. They usually have some entertainment there as well. Traffic can get congested on this road at times as you get closer to downtown. That's why it's good to know the little ways around. So I'm turning off of Broom Street onto Church Street here. And this is going to take me past the apartments. So I'm driving past traffic that's standing still on the left hand side. But this is the way I'm going anyway. So Ardmore at Price is the name of these apartments. There's over 200 units in there. Nice higher end apartments. I believe they have one, two, and three bedroom options there. We're running parallel to Broom Street, Route 16. On the left hand side, you'll see the back of Waxall Tap House, where they've got the only beer garden in Waxall. Behind them is Broom Street Burgers, a great place to get a burger. They have good salads too. Donald Street, you can see the Waxhaw water tank right there. And we have lots of festivals and events underneath that water tower. There's a big gravel lot where they host a lot of things. And Waxhaw actually has two main streets. We've got North Main Street and South Main Street. So North is above the railroad tracks. South is below the railroad tracks. And I'm not going to run all through Waxhaw, that's a tour for another day, but we're on Main Street, so all the businesses and restaurants and everything are mostly here to the left. I've got Blue Door Deli on my right. We've got another bar and restaurant coming soon on the right hand side. And now we're headed out of Waxhaw. Thanks for watching, we'll see you on the next video.